What's going on guys? Jeremy here with Slime Quest TV coming at you with another Hummingbird Helix tips video and today we're going to be talking about getting the best clearest image on your side imaging. Today we're going to be working on a G4N Hummingbird Helix series unit uh, and these settings will work exactly the same on a G3N so let's dive into it right now. All right guys we're going to dive right into these settings and the first thing I like to do, I have this on simulator simulator mode right now, just so I'm inside and you guys can actually see uh, the screen without any kind of glare. And uh, the first thing I want to do, guys, and you can do this out on the water, and just take this cursor and just hit the left or the right, up, down, and it's going to pause the screen. And uh, this is how I like to get the best settings no matter what water I'm in. But the first thing I want to say, guys, is hit that menu button twice get in your main setup menu and take your unit and switch it from user mode from angler to custom. This is going to give you a lot more options and it's going to give you, I'm actually going to, I'm going to go back to angler mode and hit this menu button once on SI and it doesn't have an SI enhance. It does have sensitivity and contrast, but it doesn't have SI enhance, which gives you a contrast. Now I'm going to go back in here, hit the angler mode, exit out, hit that menu button once to get in your quick menu, and now we have an SI Enhance. So as sensitivity, the darker the water, the lower you want your sensitivity. If you're in clean water, clear water, I like to keep that between 10 and 12, but I fish a lot of stained water, not muddy water, just a little bit stained, and I get the best settings on the sensitivity with an eight. I'm then going to go down and the contrast is now in the SI Enhance, your cursor over and you got contrast right here. If you go too low on the contrast, it's going to wash out the screen just like this here. I like my contrast on 12. If I'm on any kind of super clear water, I might go down to 11 or 10, but 12 gives me a great, um, just a great, a great clarity on the screen. It's got the dark shadows. You can see just right there just looks really good. And uh, no matter what body of water you're on, if you pause that screen and start going in here and move that sensitivity up and down, the contrast up and down until you get a better picture, that's how you get the best clarity. Now, sharpness is which just we just added with the user mode on custom. We're gonna go down here to sharpness. It has a, a low, a medium, and a high. I like my sharpness on low. It just kinda, gives each little pebble, each little rock, a little more detail. It adds more pixels to the frame. And uh, if you're on super clear water, I have gone up to medium, but high just seems a little too much as you can see right there. I like mine on low. The next thing I'm gonna talk about, guys, is the SI dynamic ca uh, contrast. And I'm actually gonna exit out of here one time, hit that menu button again, and down here at the bottom of the screen, we have SI Dynamic Contrast. And we can turn that on, and it's going to darken the screen out. But our shadows and the picture just gets really, really nice. And uh, go back and forth between that a couple times. There's nothing wrong with this picture here. But I just, for some reason, the shadows and the fish and the hard, the really hard stuff... The returns like fish and bait really come up really clear. So that's something, guys. That that's how I get my my best settings and my clearest picture on my Hummingbird Helix G4N. All right, guys. That's exactly how you want to get out on the water, freeze that screen, and start adjusting those settings to get that cleanest picture. Now get out there in the water, guys, and find some fish.